Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Why wouldn't I, uh, how do I say this? Uh, of course I'm doing another help wanted video because I have nothing else to post. Um, one thing before, um, so I'm not going to do much in this video. I'm just going to do night three and night four to so just finish up FNAF one. So, if I go to the prize counter, yeah, but like, again, it's not the same one as on there, what the hell, Scott, or Steel Wool Studios, look, that's like a fat version of Nightmare Freddy, it's like Twisted Freddy, food, they didn't screw up the food, it looks like, oh, I don't want you anymore. Actually, wait. There's an area over there. I'm gonna throw him over there. <laughs> okay, now let me go over there. Oh, okay. Um, really quickly, let me go to hard mode. Whoa. This. What is that, 11.50? Hold up. I don't know what that is. Is that the time in game time? That's not the time in real life. This, the tape thing that I said I was gonna do later on the first video, um... Tape one, tape two. These! Oh! So, these are the tapes that I've been collecting? Tape one. Hello? Can you hear me? Don't exit this room, okay? This isn't a mistake. This room isn't a mistake. I had to hide these logs away from the core gameplay files in a place that only a beta tester would look and in a place where the files oh, could be protected. Tested. I just really, really hope that the next development team finds this before the game is released to the public. This game has some kind of malicious code in it that we haven't been able to fully contain or even understand for that matter. We're over budget and out of time. But that's not the reason that we're shutting down. Listen, I have to keep this short so the file size will be small enough to fly under the radar. There are more. They may not be in order. I saw it for the first time today. There was a character I couldn't make out who it was, standing at the end of the hall. I thought it was just bugged out, so I made a note of it and kept playing. But then it was looking in the window. And not like Chica or Bonnie would. It was like it was actually looking in the window, seeing what I was doing. I heard a pretty heated conversation this morning between Dale, our manager, and someone else on the line. It really feels like this project is in trouble. In no small part because of the lawsuit, I'm sure. There has to be a lawsuit. There's no way there isn't. It happened in this building just a few doors down from me. I think it's made worse by the fact that Jeremy tried to tell us something was wrong. Jeremy. But as a dev team, we all just saw it as a challenge to find what the problem was and fix it. Who could have known that? I have to go. Have you ever heard of a guillotine paper slicer? It sounds made up, but it's an actual piece of office equipment. I didn't even know we had one in the supply room. I guess the more common at businesses that do a lot of graphic design work. I remember seeing one when I was still in school, and even then, I knew how dangerous it looked. I was always afraid of losing a finger. That seems so silly now. Jeremy used to do design work. I guess that's how he knew it was there. The drawers have been emptied out. Someone was here. I don't think it was spring cleaning either. No, there was plastic on the floor. Someone was definitely here during the night. It had to have been the client. I mean, they sent us that stuff in the first place with no explanation, told us to scan it, said it would expedite the process so we wouldn't need to program any pathfinding ourselves. It was a budget thing, I guess. It was just junk. Circuit boards and things like that. Looked pretty old. Somehow, though, there was usable code on some of it. It seemed to take hold by itself. 
Things started changing. But then, he started appearing. At least that's what Jeremy said. Jeremy sounds like he has like schizophrenia or something. I came in early that morning. That's how you said that. No one else was there. Sounds At insane. least that's what I thought. The supply room was lit. I didn't even notice Jeremy standing in the testing room as I there walked past. Jeremy again. The there supply room was so bright, always. glowing from all the way down the hall. I think it's talking about Jeremy from uh, Five Nights at Freddy's. Was it one or two? Maybe it was both. I think you played as Jeremy in those two games, at least. Jeremy complained of nightmares oh when he God, came in Jeremy, this morning. Jesus Christ, Jeremy. He wasn't talking about it like someone telling a friend about his dreams, though. He was pale. Looked like he hadn't eaten in days. He spent an hour talking in Dale's office. But it didn't look like he was given much sympathy. When he came out, he went directly back to the testing room. He doesn't even jump anymore. Nothing scares him. He just stands there like he's talking to someone. Sometimes he rocks from side to side. We were told to leave him alone. I knew I was in line to do the testing next. They'd been prepping me for it. I guess they knew that Jeremy would need to be replaced soon. Something happened to Jeremy after he played this game. And we're playing the game. Great. Great. Okay. Night three, here we come. Oh my god, this isn't good at all. Something bad happened to Jeremy while wow, he was playing this game. Okay, locking in Pirate Cove. Oh, did you just try to attack me? Oh, oh. Hey, you're doing great. Uh, most people don't last this long. I mean, you know, they usually move on to other things by now. I'm uh, not uh, they died. That, that, that's not what I meant. Uh, anyway, I, I better not take up too much of your time. Uh, things are getting real tonight. Uh, uh, hey, listen, I, I had an idea. If you happen to get caught and want to avoid getting stuck into a Freddy suit, uh, try playing dead. You know, go home. Oh, the game I was playing when I was doing Freddy, can I just do that? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. 
Oh, he's inside the kitchen. Pretty sounded pretty. Pretty loud. Pretty sounded pretty. Pretty loud and proud. So is it like the real game now? Um, I guess I can't open up that door. I think it's how it works, so. Really? All I gotta worry about is that side? It's 5 a.m. though, my power is going to turn awfully fast though. Oh, Freddy. Freddy's gone, so I think I can. Open it. Oh! Never, never mind. D never do that again. That really scared me. I just opened it. I thought he was gone. He's standing right outside my door. Yeah, never. Never do that again. It's Funtime Foxy! You're so cute. You're actually you're horrendous. You get out of here. I take that back. <laughs> You're doing a great job, and no doubt having a great time as well. Yo, guys, I think I got, I got a little, I think I got a secret. Look, it's Helpy. Yo, what? What the hell? What? Why is there a button there? that when Freddy's at camera 4B, you literally don't even need to close the door. Um, still check him just so he slows his progress down. And something else I learned, you literally don't have to use the lights at all. Like, the lights are useless. You could still see them. What I mean is, like, if I look down, I could still see their feet just barely. So, yeah. There really is no point to using the lights. So yeah. Whoa, okay. Didn't really go with that camera. Um, though I still might use the lights at some points if I feel super uncomfortable. Like, typically I have like the urge for Bonnie to just still turn on the light the moment he leaves. Just like, I don't know, it's just like an instinct. I don't, I don't really know how to explain it. Like right here, it sounds like somebody may be coming across, but as long as I don't send the light, see? They just walk right across. They don't stop and turn to look. No, they don't do that. See, I could see the right, right there in the window. But like, I could see them. So I 
know when they're on. See what I mean though? Like, I, I really can't even control it. I just have the instinct to check like that. Like, I know he's there. It makes it very obvious, Bonnie. Oh, that's not Freddy Turner. Oh, that's just a normal one. Yeah. Dum 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 See, it's right there. But it's okay, I don't need to turn. I'm still wait, still got some time. That door is going to stay permanently shut. Good. Which isn't good. <sighs> yes! Let's go! Yes, I did it! I have no idea how I'm going to do Night 5, the hard mode version of it. Because that was already hard enough. I barely made it. I barely made it. Give me my prize! Pirate Plunder Bar. I also made this in the Five Nights at Freddy's Cookbook. It was Delicious. It was better than the Freddy Fudge bar to me, at least. Don't know about you guys, but it was to me. Let's go to hard mode and see. Oh, God. That looks scary. Okay, so I got FNAF 1 done. Um, this is all in normal mode. Only, though. So FNAF 1 done in normal mode. FNAF 2 done in normal mode. FNAF 3 done in normal mode. All of dark rooms is done in normal mode. Next is parts and service. Then we got vent repair and night terrors. I'm not looking for the night terrors and vent repair. Those ones look like they're going to be probably the scariest. Actually, vent repair doesn't seem that bad, but night terrors sounds ter ter terrors fine. All right, guys. Well, that's where I'm going to end it off for this video. Sorry it was pretty short, but uh, yeah. Goodbye.